Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Oconic here, and today we're going to be doing some summonings on the, uh, I guess we're going to label it the Bio Broly banner. Uh, there are a couple good cards on here, the featured ones. They're not amazing by any means, uh, but because I am a discount player on the JP side, it's a 30 stone multi-summon banner. Uh, the rates are kind of bad, 10% for an SSR, and each of these guys are at about a 0.7 rate per the Laughing Man's page. Uh, I'm not a little bit up, I'm a little bit, you know, I, I kind of don't know how to feel about this. But uh, the thing is, there are the three LRs available on this banner. So I kind of want to test, test my luck on it because, you know, for 30 stones of Molly Summon, even though it's an abysmal rate of like 0.04% chance of me actually pulling the uh, LR that I want. Now, that would be LR Gohan, obviously. But I would take the Majin Vegeta or I believe, yeah, Bro actually, yeah, as I'm saying that, Broly is right there. Uh, Broly is at a 0 0.049 and so is the Gohan. Uh, and then I think the Majin Vegeta is at 0 0.046, but uh, I think any of those three on my JP side just to make it a little bit more OP. Uh, preferably the Gohan, just because I would like to buff my intelligence lead. Um, but yeah, uh, on here, the feature units that we're looking at here, I'm not a big fan of the 18. I'm, not, I'm never going to run her on the strength team. My strength team is pretty damn decent right now. Uh, the Goten I could definitely use because I need someone to buff up my, uh, uh, my intelligence team. The Trunks is definitely good for my tech team. Uh, the agility and the physical ones, definitely because of their Doken Awakenings, they just become beasts, little beasts running around. Uh, I'm not really sure about the Valentine's 18. I don't think I'm going to really utilize her that much. Uh, and then the Orb Changer for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. So we have three multi summons that we're going to do here. Uh, so without further ado, let me jump ahead and get into it. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. Let's go and give me some luck. Alright, I realized in my last video I forgot to, let's, to do a group summon with you guys, so I guess uh, if you want to do one, we can do one right now. <laughs> Uh, don't don't feel bad if you you know if you want to go ahead and jump into the other video that I did and you can just do it with me whenever you want. Let me know what you pulled in that banner if you're pulling on the heroes one. Uh, but this one we're gonna go ahead now we can actually count it down. All right, we're, it's like my tabs. Okay, I'm pulling down with three, two, one release. All right, so we're pulling down. Okay, we have rainbow. We're in three, two, one, release. All right, super saiyan. Super saiyan one and rainbow. Super saiyan two and rainbow. Oh no, super saiyan three. It's all right. I'm kind of hoping that I get... Ooh, an SSR. You know what's funny? He has the same rates as the, <laughs> the ones that I... Uh, he's actually really good. I'm actually super stoked that I pulled him. And he does well because I have the Broly, the physical Broly. So he does really well on the team. It's funny because though he does have the same rates as uh, uh, the LRs. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, Ginyu, all right, I'm going to hold on to you. I might, you know, one day... Uh, see, I, I don't really play JP enough. I'm still working on my Vegito Blue Medals that I pulled when the Super Saiyan 4 first came out. Oh, <gasps> Shugesh. Uh-oh. I don't know what this means. I just hit the freaking thing. Oh, man. This might mean I'm going to get something really good. I mean, I already got an SSL. Oh, okay, cool. All right, all right. Thank you, Shugesh. I, I appreciate you blessing my pull. Uh, so the two SSRs right there. That's the Kid Tech Boo. He's... Oh yeah, he Doken Awakens to the buff Boo, right? I'm pretty sure that's when we Doken Awakens to the buff Boo. Oh shit! I got another one. Alright. That's the Agility Trunks. Alright. Uh, I guess I could feed him into a Super Go one if I ever get one. And these ones, these 18s are going to be coming up a lot in the banners. Sorry for the, it, 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 there is a lot of lag here as well. Look at that, uh, Mr. C. Uh, there's a lot of lag on the JP side, especially where I'm at right now. I'm in New York, but I mean, my Wi-Fi is excellent. I don't know why it takes so long, but for some reason, it, it takes a very long time for me to do anything on the JP version. Oh, uh, man, if I'm on 3G, <sighs> Jesus. But hey, thank you, Lord Shugesh, for blessing me. I appreciate it. But now what stinks is all of this grinding. I'm gonna have to do to get these guys. I think I actually have that trunk. I might just feed him two path on him. Um, I don't have it. All the grinding I have to do to get that uh, that kid boo Doken awaken now. now. Let's go ahead and try this again. Shugesh, please bless me with an LR Gohan. I'm telling you right now, if I get an LR Gohan, I am probably going to end up playing JP a lot more often. All right, Hercule on the left. All right, no rainbow. 
Super Saiyan could go through it. Get the one. He green eyes, blue eyes. Well, bluish eyes. Heal. I don't know. Uh, let's see what we got here. On the Super Saiyan 2, we got Beerus. I mean, now that I think about it, for a 10% pull rate, that was actually a really damn good multi summon. Though I didn't get any of the banner ones. Can you believe I got three non banner SSRs on under a 10% pull rate at this current time? All of them have the same exact pull. Ooh, look at that. And another one with the pull rate of a freaking LR. And I think. Man. Boy, don't mess with me. Alright, cool. So I got the Gohan. Ultimate Gohan. Though I don't like running that one on a team. That agility, Ultimate Gohan, I am not a fan of, and I'll tell you why. Because he has a chance to stun the enemy, which screws over Super Vegito. He screws over Super Vegito. I actually remember that in the Boo, the Buhan event. Um, I relied on Su uh, Super Vegito's uh, counterattacks in the Buhan event, and I kept on stunning him with that goddamn uh, Ultimate Gohan, which it just killed. It killed me. But... Whatever. Now, now I know, and so I actually don't run him. He's actually kind of useless to me. I might just. I'm not gonna actually baba him, guys. All right, but I was considering it. I was just like, I could just baba him. I guess. I don't know when it, when he would actually become useful for me at this point. Cause I'll never run him. All right, guys. This is the last one. Oh, praying for some luck. All right. Oh, that's three hours. That's one. Okay. That's. One. Oh wow. You know that's funny. The last 15 minutes. This this go ten is. Oh, the, oh, so the 18 is now over 1%. Oh, the last 15 minutes is 10.2. That's not bad. But, uh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and we're going to try this one more time, guys. Oh. I'm not too upset, though, because I probably wasn't going to pull on the Extreme Tech one yet. I, I'm probably going to wait till the next meta comes out. Or until... Because I'll tell you right now. I, for the two-and-a-half-year celebration, I'm probably going to do something big. They always have something crazy going on. I'm pretty sure the two-and-a-half-year is right around the corner anyway. So... We'll see what happens. If not, then... Oh well, I'll wait, because I just save up stones. I do my daily logins. Okay. Alright, cool. I kind of got... Except... Ooh! Mmm, yeah. Actually, he's the number one card of all the banner cards that I wanted, because I believe it's him who has the um, super attack goes up to 100%. Maybe not. It might go up to 90 But either way, he is freaking super useful. Super useful. I will be holding on to him, and I will be awakening him, and Doken awakening him. Oh, man. Let's see what we got here. Shishami. So, I've actually been watching the uh, dub of Dragon Ball Super. I found it online somewhere. I've been watching it from the Toonami release. It's actually kind of funny. I, I can't stand the voice actress that they got to do Chi-Chi's voice. Though. That's so freaking obnoxious. It's not even funny. Uh, terrible. Raccoon. I, I didn't think I was actually going to get any of the LRs here. I was kind of just, you know, hoping, I guess. False hope. Oh, man. Oh, well. that That's a pretty damn nice Trunks. Uh, I I like the fact that he got his Doken Awakening. Let's go ahead and take a look really quick. I forgot who he is. His Doken Awakening version is... Yeah, attack 100% up during the uh, Death Blow or the Super Death Oh, and he raises his attack for three turns. Now, a lot of you guys didn't know, uh, I'm not a big fan of that raise the super attack for three turns, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and, you know, well, thanks for dropping by. Uh, considering that sub button, if you're new here, I don't typically do a lot of summoning videos, but I do a lot of analytical videos. So if you like that kind of stuff, go ahead and check out the stuff I've done recently. Uh, I did a lot of breakdowns on all the new cards that came to the JP side, and... Uh, I rehashed the stuff around the global side pretty much because I started at the time of Super Vegeta Blue and Super Saiyan Rose. Uh, but I will be redoing everything on the global side as much as I can. Uh, if you have any requests, let me know. And thanks again, guys. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I will catch you in the next video.